It's the Christmas season. It's that time of year when you unbury all the decorations from the attic in the garage. You put up the Christmas tree. You find that missing stocking with the reindeer on it. You clean out the gutters so that you can string up the lights before it snows or you're the last dark house on the block. The kids have road games, early practices, that huge history project, and final tests to study for, along with five different Christmas parties and your son's extra holiday hours at his part-time job. When can he start driving again? Don't forget to write down the dates and times for the performances and the rehearsals of the programs at church, at school, and at the senior center where they want you to come dressed up as an elf. In tights. Then there's the shopping. Your son wants a new gaming system that can read his mind. Your daughter wants a doll that you're going to have to make payments on. Your sister's emailed you three times asking what you want for Christmas and why you haven't just gotten an Amazon wish list set up already. Your spouse thinks maybe the two of you should just get each other a new furnace for Christmas or maybe just donate all the gift money to orphans in Cambodia. And then there's the secret Santa thing at work. What's a white elephant gift again anyway? The school sent home a note saying half the kids have strep. Your spouse came home with a box of double extra strength cough medicine and a case of Kleenex boxes. You're pretty sure there was something wrong with that last piece of fruitcake you just ate. And your daughter's so stuffy she looks and sounds just like Rudolph. Christmas is at your parents' house this year, and at your spouse's brother's place down south, and at your aunt's place on the lake. If the weather's nice and your kids sleep in the car, you might just make it to all three, and you should make sure that you stop in at the office party for at least a little while. Also, your friends are in town, so could you set aside a night of the week to do a special Christmas just with them? Oh, and can we do it at your house? Your boss needs you to make sure you get that project done before Christmas, even though he's going to be out of town until January, and you have to cover for your coworker who spends every Christmas in Hawaii. Also, none of your contractors will answer the phone after December 15th. Plus, you need to make that green bean dish you're so good at for Christmas dinner, and that peppermint dessert all the kids love for the other Christmas dinner, and something gluten-free for Uncle Dale, and a backup ham just in case your mom's stove blinks out again. Also, there's cookies and carols at the church on Saturday afternoon. Everybody bring two dozen. Oh, and don't forget, Jesus is the reason for the season. Merry Christmas.